Friends, Alexander, why do you want me to make you a coral bracelet? Hi guys and girls, my name is Alexander and I'm Igor's friend. And I really asked him to make me a coral bracelet because I like very much the way it looks and I like his uh, human touch, the personal touch that he adds to it. It's not the stuff you buy from the shop, but that's the handicrafted item that he does himself. And since he's my friend and I saw one on his hand, uh, on his wrist, I decided to have one sell for me. And, uh, you know, I love Philippines very much and I love sea and I like diving in it. And I decided it would be nice to have a part of uh, uh, the beach, of the Philippine beach, part of the coral hanging on my wrist. That, that's, that was the idea. You must understand that this is a very labor-intensive process. And how much are you willing to pay for it? Yeah, as I just said, I like this item because it's all handcrafted. And Igor doesn't have any special equipment like a jewelry, machines for polishing or drilling. And he does all the work by himself, by his hands and uh, that gives it a special look. So I guess taking into account how much time he spends on it, I would be happy to pay like 30 to $50 for it. That would be in pesos like uh, 1,500, 2,000. That would be the comfortable range for me, I think, for this kind of... Uh... Okay, Alexander, I will make this bracelet for you. I'll let you know when I am done a week, maybe two weeks. It's, you understand, it's a very, very difficult job. Okay, I understand. It's totally handwork, so take your time, take it easy. I'm here, no rush. So once you're done, let me know and I come and pick it up. No problem. Friend, I have question for interesting, interesting for me because I live in the Philippines, in this island, Samal, a lot of time. Maybe it's a question interesting and for you. What do you think about building a bridge between Samal and a city of Davao? Millions city. Will Davao itself become over, over populated overpopulated in this place mm -hmm. yeah i heard uh, rumors five years since 20 25 years ago they were talking that they're going to build this bridge one day but now i think it's serious and then they start started the clearing the construction ground and the funds were allocated by some chinese investments mm -hmm. investment investors i think and they already started building it so i hope this time this bridge will be really built and I don't know how many years it will take, but it looks like we're going to have a bridge connecting Samal to Davao. And I think it will be, life will be much more fun with the bridge, because if you want to go shopping to Davao, you want to go to movie or to the airport to fly away, you can just uh, cross the bridge instead of waiting for an hour or for two hours if there is a line for the ferry boat. So I think more people will be coming from Davao, more, more Dabavenos, uh, people coming for holidays here. I think the price of the land here and of the housing will go up. There will be more tourists, uh, more shops, more fun, more entertainment. So I think it's a good idea. And I hope in two, three, four years, I don't know how long, but we'll have the bridge. That's my idea. 
Yeah, maybe you're right. I think about this problem, yeah, a little problem because um, the people uh, not have money more. People not have money for uh, pay. It's um, ferry, and now it's uh, okay. Yeah, the ferry is quite expensive. If you go by motorcycle, I yeah, go by yeah, motorcycle. Yeah. I pay 100 peso one way. Yeah. 200 pesos to go to Davao just for a bridge uh, for the ferry. Yeah, ticket. you're right. And if you're you go right. by yeah, car, it's 250, so it's 500. And if you go on foot, it's 20, I think. Okay. It's a considerable money, yeah. Yeah. Okay, my friend. Uh, I know you buy a lot of uh, ground, a lot uh, area near um, Bandera. Bandera. It's a Purok Bandera, Barangay Bandera, and you go and build the house, maybe house, yeah? Little, yeah. big? Bahai Kubo. Bahai Kubo? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a piece of land up there, up hills in Bandera. It's oh. in the middle of Samal. I rented it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a rented land. I rented it for 50 years. And already five or six years I own it. And one day I hope I will build there some Bahai Kubo or maybe a couple of them. Uh, smaller houses, maybe from Amakan, from Nipa, mm -hmm. local style, yeah. So I can spend winters there and uh, my friends can come and visit me. That's, that was the idea. And why Samal? Well, I traveled a lot of south, in Southeast Asia and so far Samal and Davao region is the best place. I found it to be the best place in terms of fruits, in terms of climate, in terms of people, in terms of food, in terms of sea. In terms of the nature, I like it very much here. I it's a capital, um, fruit capital, yeah, they Philippine. Call it, they call it the fruit capital of the Philippines. Uh, durian of the, capital. A lot of durian, a lot of marang, <laughs> yeah. of pomelo, and all those fruits, I love them. Yeah, I That's know. That's why I'm it's, here. It's a really good place. Yeah. It's a paradise yeah. for people where, where if you like it fruit. And people are also very, very beautiful and very friendly and very welcoming here. You are watching the video channel of blogger and day, Colored Filipinas. These circuses are simply amazing. This channel is growing the fastest in the Philippines in less than a month. He has increased by 30,000 subscribers. Filipinas from all over the world sent him donation one time. Donation can exceed two hundred dollars, and all because he does films. His mother Olga, this an ordinary Russian woman, of whom there are one hundred million. She is not young. She's 67 years old and doesn't think like blogger Jelena, has no hobbies of interest in us for, for far as I know. But she's simply adored by tens of thousands of Filipinos around the, the world. They are ready to watch video with her all the time. This is amazing. Why did we love her so much? Maybe we are all their people. Our heads and souls do not remember mother law and care. My mother died four years ago. She had cancer and now I regret it to tears. Looking at the video of Andre meeting his mother and him, I regret that I didn't bring my mother ice cream. I didn't take her to such beautiful countries as Philippines and didn't give her then love and care, the care that I see from the Filipino subscribers Andre, honor and great respect to them. I would, I would also like to appeal to everyone those parents are still alive. Remember and take care 
of them more other. Do not leave them alone. You will not be able to forgive yourself for this letter. Perhaps Filipinas see their mother, grandmother, or even then selves in the woman Olga. Perhaps they are more sensitive and their concept of Kapwatao and Bayanihan is the main mean of their lives. If this is so, then all we can to do is burn all heads and shake hand which blogger Andre, who was able to reveal to us the best human qualities of the wonderful Filipina people. Salamat. The video channel of blogger Andre Kellet Filipinas, Filipines. His sackets are simply amazing. His channel is grown the fastest in the Filipinas. Why do you think Mama Olga, an ordinary old woman from Russia, is so popular among Filipina? Sub Filipino subscribers, what do you think about it? Okay. Yes, I know Andre for maybe 10 years or more. We came to the Philippines. Wow, 10 uh, years? Yeah, we came to the Philippines together in 2013 when he was uh, much younger than now. <laughs> and I saw his mother first time uh, this time when she came here to Samal. And she's really lovely, simple, nice old lady. And um, uh, but I think that the main secret uh, why Filipino subscribers like her so much and keep watching her is because of the relationship of Andre to her to his mother because he is also very caring, very protecting uh, son and he is repaying the kindness of his mother because I was told that uh, she brought him up alone without the mm -hmm. father okay. so she was the whole family for him and she brought him up on her own and now he's repaying her kindness and taking care of her uh, taking her to Philippines uh, taking her around entertaining her and I think Filipino people they are very family oriented people they yeah, are right. like strong yeah. family ties they live in the extended family like few generations together in one estate they do this family reunions with all the uh, like a clan this clan that with the t-shirts coming yeah on the maybe beach. you know it's maybe. a club is uh, yeah. symbolic in, in uh, uh, Filipina Kapwatao yeah, yeah, yeah. by Han. Yeah. it's very beautiful and very big um, for very big symbol for yeah. Filipino people and I think this uh, character of Filipino people it uh, matches very well with Andre's attitude uh, to his mother and they like watching it because it resonates in them uh, with their values and his values and their values are similar and that's why they uh, liking his mother and videos with his mother about their travel about their activities so much I think that's that's the that's the secret yeah it's maybe that's the secret. A really little secret for another yeah, blogger yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you my friend yeah it was my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye guys. Subscribe. <laughs>